So, hello everybody, good morning, good noon, good evening, wherever you're from. This is the Eichel headquarter in Germany, in Bremen, directly near the North Sea. Thanks for joining our webinar for today. I'd like to show you some data sheets and facts about our new products, the UD Pocket, the Universal Desktop Converter 3, named UDC 3, and of course for managing this, the new, new UMS 504100. But at first, please let me introduce myself. My name is Robin Geide. I'm a systems engineer working on the pre-sales team in the IGL headquarter in Germany, in Bremen. So please, if you have any questions or something wrong with the webinar or something else, you're muted, muted during the webinar, but you can contact me by take your Citrix question dashboard. The session will be recorded and sent you by mail after the webinar. You also had time for questions at the end of the webinar, so no problem, feel free to write me. Well, what's up for today? I prepared something um, first. I'd like to start with an introduction about the UD Pocket. This is the new Argelsyn client pocket pulled in an USB stick. And we take a look about the Universal Desktop Converter 3. This is a software product where you can make the Argelsyn client with every hardware device. And I prepared a live demonstration in the new UMS, the look and feel of the UD Pocket. So let's get started. This is the new UD Pocket. It's an USB stick you can put into any device, boot from the stick, and you get a fully agile thin client. So let's start with some data sheets. We've got a dual boot process. You can use the Agile Linux software without overwriting the local UMS. So for example, if you have some home workers having a PC or laptop, just give them a stick, let them boot from the stick with a thin client and take their work on your environment. And after finishing work, they take the stick and boot the laptop or PC again, and they get access to their normal operating system. The boot is available with, uh, I think, nearly all of x86 and, of course, 64-bit um, form factors over the USB port. And why did you do this? Because you get access to your VDI. And as I also told you, to return to the local UMS and desktop, simply remove the UD pocket and reboot your system. The technical requirements for this stick is CPU x86 or 74-bit support and the RAM equal or more than 2 gigabyte is necessary. That's it. In the stick we are presenting our new operating system, the Agile Linux 10. The stick is a USB 3.0 and it's, of course, downward compatible with USB 2.0. There's a multiple user necessary, necessary not. It's um, You can do it because the license is on the UD Pocket. So the license is the stick, even as you buy some hardware. And the dimensions are really small. It's 20, 22 millimeters up to 12 millimeters. And um, 
3.3 grams is the weight. So it's a really small USB stick. On this slide, I put the data sheet together for you, perhaps for making a screenshot or something like this, or just reread the things I told you. So I'll give you a short time for reading or even for making a screenshot about the data sheets of our duty pocket. So, I put the bus features into a few slides. So it's very simple because you just insert, boot and work. Of course, no battery, multiple user and you have independent of MAC address because the license is on the stick. It's the serial of the stick. Of course, it, it's fully managed by our universal management suite, as you know from every product of iGEL. Yeah, of course, it's secure because you have to get to your environment for take your work. And of course, it's a very good solution for buyers for home workers, road warriors. As you know, there are no extra costs for the UMS. The UMS is available with the first IGEL product up to many, many thousands of IGELs. You will manage it over the UMS. You get a three-year warranty if you regist registered your stick at the IGEL homepage. And the stick has a metal case. It's resistant to dust, shocks, and water. The stick is also available with a multimedia codec pack you are knowing from our SIN clients and with a shared workplace license. You can buy it as well. So, that's all for now with the UD Pocket. We will return later in the live demonstration to the stick. Now, I'd like to tell you something about our second new product. It's the Universal Desktop Converter 3. So, what's the UDC Universal Desktop Converter? If you have an old PC and you um, won't like to throw it away, but you are thinking, oh, might be might can be used for something else, you can make a thin client with this UDC software. So in past we had a UDC 2 which requires just one gigahertz, uh, one gigabyte of RAM and one gigabyte HDD, so very low requirements. And you can install our UDC software and making a normal idle software thin client. From now on we have the UDC 3, the next generation, and these are the features. We have also the Agile Linux 10 on this device. We support it near the 32-bit, in this uh, software, the 64-bit support. The RAM is equal or more than 2 gigabyte necessary, and the flash as well. From now on, the boot from an eMMMC is possible, which wasn't possible at the UDC2. We support larger hard drives, and we also support codec packs. The boot process is quicker because we added the parallel boot process. So it's very quick for booting, as I tried. Let's make a sentence to the Agile Linux 10. We have a modernized UI with new look and feel to our Linux 10 desktop. You will see it in our live demonstration. 
the customizing functions are the same as you know from our UMS and from your Hydra Thin clients. And before we switch to our live demonstration I prepared for you, just let me know if you need any assistance by using our Universal Management Suite, the UMS. We have a live webinar in English every Tuesday from 10 to 11 GMT and in German every Monday from 9 to 10 CET. Just sign in to the webinar over the ITIL homepage. There will be also a recording available if this isn't your time. And now I'd like to switch with you to our live demonstration. For using our new Agile Linux 10, the new UMS 504.100 released last Wednesday is needed. This is the reason why we released the new UMS. And now we switched to my local UMS. There we are. You see it's a clearly UMS, there are no synth clients. I've prepared here some profiles, we have a look later on it. But first I like to add our UD pocket. I put it here in a UD5 and boot from the USB stick. So I'm searching my local network for the new device. And there we are, we have a UD pocket. I like to include it into my UMS. Result is OK, so here it's edit. And this is the device. You can see it, the green screen. It is online. And first of all, I like to prepare a new profile. As you know, it's fully managed like every Hydro product. So I like to add a shadowing that can show you what happened on the client. Right over there you can have a new look and feel of the new icons. But I think the customizing and systems equal. So just roll out the profile to my USB stick. Clients get the changes and we try to shadowing. This works. As you can see here we've got an English message. We have got the wrong time zone and we have a very high resolution and no icons on the desktop. So I switched off the shadowing and now I put the UD pocket into the folder UD pocket which has some profiles. First the Central European time. I changed the resolution to 1024 that we can see the whole screen by shadowing and I switched the language to German and I also added a storefront. So let's have a look at the profile of the storefront. As you can see here, it's the normal look and feel and every connection you are used to use by our Hydrosynth clients are also available in the UD pocket. So we got here the storefront with the connection. I'll also add the root certificate as a file and put it through the profile that it will be rolled out with the profile to the device. So from now on I switch the folder so the thin client get configured by the profiles on the folder. So it gets the new configuration, takes some time and now we shadow again. And as you can see here 
we have the lower resolution, we have German language at the system, and we have the right time zone. And we also have here the storefront icon. So I try a connection to our Citrix. And there are my icons. Now I'm in our environment. Let's see if the internet connection works. Looks good. And I try to change into a famous German use site. And as you can see here, everything works fine. The delay is just of the VNC. If you are directly on the client, everything works fine. So I think you have an impression how it works with the UD Pocket, same as with our other IGO devices. So this was the live demonstration. So where's the download? The download is available for the UDC3 at myIGO.biz. There are also the release notes if you need any technical information about this and if you need anything else, just take our knowledge base edocs.itra.com or if you need any personal assistance you can contact your local dealer in your country or contact direct the ITRA support over the ticket system or plus 49 for Germany, 421 for Bremen, 52094 and 4 times the 2. I'm at the end of my webinar. I hope you enjoyed and get an impression of our new product. Thanks for joining me and now it's time for your questions.